Hello crafters and welcome back. I'm using today a new stamp set by Avriel and this is called Peonies. I will be doing some coloring on this cute flower right here and we'll create a shaker card. But first I'm starting with um, this white stripe background from Simon Says that I already mounted onto my Misty. I have here a piece of what, um, not watercolor, is regular um, cardstock, white cardstock. I will be inking this first with tumble glass and I will do uh, each stripe a color. I had this uh, card shared on my Instagram a couple of days ago and I decided to make a video also. Fossilized Ember. It may take a bit of time to ink all these stripes with these mini ink pads, but with just a bit of patience, I'll do it. Cracked Pistachio, my favorite, favorite color. It's gorgeous uh, minty green weathered wood. I'd love to take a moment to thank everyone that is subscribing to my channel and leaving comments. I really appreciate you taking time to watch my videos and also for leaving your sweet comments. They mean the world to me. So thank you, thank you very much. And Abandoned Coral. I'm going to spritz this with a bit of water and the colors will move because the Distress inks um, are water based and they are great for uh, using with water. And even though this is not watercolor paper, I will still get a bit of movement there for my color. So I'm just going to close and press. And here it is. I love the texture that it gives, uh, this regular cardstock, with um, with watercolor cardstock you probably get some more defined lines. I'm gonna give this a quick hit set, because I will be doing some stamping on top. With some black ink, I'm using the Versafine. Onyx black. And I'm gonna stamp my base right on top of uh, these stripes that I just made. As I said, I will be making a shaker card. Just heating this up because I don't want to smudge it all over. The Versafine is a bit juicier than the regular inks are. So now to transform this into a shaker card, I will be cutting uh, the inside of the vase out. So I will first cut from these ends. And I probably want to grab my scissors and this will be much more easier than with the craft knife. And cut around the outline of the vase. And just to cover this white left over that I get there, I'm just gonna put paper underneath and go all over the edges with a black marker. I want to trim a bit my panel, so I will be using a rectangle die from Simon Says. So I have the large stitched rectangle here. I want to make sure that I'm gonna cut this straight. Okay, and you can see here the beautiful stitch lines that this die leaves on paper. So I'm gonna add some water to my base now, and I've already prepared my tumble glass, distress ink, and I just want to make a sign there to know where to stop. So 
Well, now my panels are all ready. All I have to do is prepare my flowers. I have here four Zig clean color markers and we'll color my flower and leaves onto some watercolor paper. For my flowers I'm using a pink and orange marker and I'm gonna use the orange for uh, my shadows. I'm using the yellow green and the green gray and even though this is a gray when you mix it with this yellow it turns into like uh, an olive green and probably that's why it is called a green gray and my leaves are all ready. I went over the edges with a black marker to hide that ugly line. And now it's time to build my shaker. I'm gonna grab a piece of some clear acetate. And I'll be taping this to the back. Before adding any dimension, I will stamp my sentiment and I will be using this thanks right here. I will be stamping with my stays on. I'm sure that my stays on is a bit dry, so I will need to stamp probably a couple of times. And the, the misty will help me doing that. better. I have to clean this up quickly otherwise my stamp will get stained. I'm using the Ultra Clean from Hero Arts. And it's good as new. I'll be using some craft foam and here are my kitty's teeth. I'm gonna glue down some sequins just so that when I shake my card they won't fall off. Well, not all of them. I'm 
gonna put in some of these uh, tiny rhinestones these are some silver rhinestones and we'll put a bit of some clear sequins I always forget doing something I have to put some more of this craft foam Okay, so now I can adhere my panel right on top and try to center it also. And now I'm going to adhere my flower. I'm gonna have it right about here and I'm gonna mount this onto some foam just so I can tuck the leaves um, underneath For my lips, I will use some liquid glue. I'll be adding some white highlights with my gel pen and this is the Uniball white gel pen. We we'll put a bit of shimmer onto the leaves. probably want to add some more sequins to the outside of my card also I wish I had also add some uh, tails for my flower into the vase there I haven't thought about it previously to, to making this card. I hope you enjoyed. I thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.